Early childhood is really significant in the world of education in academia because it is the years where the children are being exposed and introduced to education. And they really need to feel comfortable and safe to be able to dive deeper into their own learning and their own knowing. The ECC is really exciting. But the exciting things that are happening in ECC are kind of beyond the facilities. They're more about what the teachers are doing. They have themes that they're working on while learning basic fundamentals. And so everything's really integrated. It's really thoughtful. The idea is to be able to uh, respond to children's needs as and when they happen. So if we see that there's a child who has so much energy right in the morning, we don't have to wait for, the, for that PE lesson to happen. Any teacher can actually take charge and say, you know what, I'll take these five children to the PE right now. Or oh, they've been singing and they've been dancing all day, why can't we go and investigate with the instruments down in the music room? And they're not limited to just the space in the classroom because the building is so vast, indoor, outdoor, they have many different opportunities to be exploring and investigating according to their own interests. You have five senses. All of them are really bringing in information fast. And they're categorizing the information, especially the younger the child you go. And so it's important that those kids are having material to engage all of those senses so that they can learn in a much more spherical way. If a child as young as five years or six years can actually tell you, I want to go to the art room and create something, or to the maker space and create something now. What more would that child do when they're in grade one? They will be able to take more action of their learning, take more responsibility of their learning. There are amazing teachers here that are very passionate, loving and nurturing. The teachers are putting a lot of thought to develop very specific provocations for the students to go and investigate and to go play with literacy being embedded, math skills being embedded, music, art, the sciences, whatever it may be, gross motor skills, fine motor skills, and that is what the whole picture is because children don't learn by content-based separate subject matters. They learn with the big picture and taking it all in. And that's what we offer and provide. And we know that through play, it is absorbed and it sticks with them. And then when they get to be older and move into elementary school, those experiences allow them to then go deeper into their learning.